Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.5 and problem number 2.68. A ball of weight Q and radius R is attached by a string AD to a vertical wall AB as shown in the figure. Determine the tensile force S in the string and the pressure R against the wall at B. If Q is equal to 35.6 newtons, R is 75 mm and AB is equal to 100 mm, neglect the friction at wall. That means there is a ball which is pressed against the wall and it is also hinged by a string. Our interest is to find the reaction force here and the tensile force developed in the string AB. Let us consider the various forces acting on this ball. The first force is the self weight, of course the value is Q. Next, next force is the reaction at B, let the reaction at B is RB and it is also attached with string. So there is a string force acts along AD and which is away from the ball because initially we will assume that the tensile force, hence it is away from D, let the magnitude is S. Let us transfer all these three forces onto a separate xy plane for easy analysis. So all the three forces are drawn on to a separate xy plane. So this is reaction at B or B or R. And here the tensile force S yes. and here it is the magnitude of the weight of the ball that is 35.6. Now R is acting along x axis, weight is acting along y axis. Only S is an inclined force. I would like to find the angle made by this S with either horizontal or vertical. For that, let us assume that this angle is theta. And uh, I know that this distance is given as 100, AB is 100. And I also know that this radius CV is equal to 75. So I can construct a small right angle triangle ABC here. From the right angle triangle ABC, I can say tan theta is equal to 100 by 75 or theta is equal to 53.13. So this value is no. Now there are three forces and all three forces are beating at a particular point and all are divergent. So I can apply the sign rule. So according to the sign rule, 35.6 force divided by sine of angle between these two forces. So this is 180 minus theta theta is 53.13 which gives the value of 126.87. So 35.6 by sine 126.87 is equal to the, the reaction at B R divided by angle between these two forces. This is 90 plus 53.13 so which is R divided, divided by sine of 143.13 is equal to S divided by sine of angle between these two forces is 90. Hence, it is S divided by sine 90. Now, by using these two expressions, I can find the reaction force at B. And by using these two expressions, I can find the tensile force in the string S. So, hence, I can find R is equal to 26.7 newtons. And I can find S is equal to 44.5 newtons. Hence, these two are the answers for the given problem. 